If you call it me, yeah. Anyways, since the election's already over with, but. Well, the good news is that Obama win, but. I wouldn't necessarily say that bad news was Poppy, you know. I, I mean, I, I knew all along that it was going to pass at some point because it was a matter of time of all the whole hysteria and all the lies that the Prop 8 supporters have done and so far, but as many people on here, I said that it doesn't really matter because the truth is there's going to be all these losses that are going to go there and challenge, challenge Prop 8 once and for all, and basically not only overturn Prop 8, but also overturn all those so-called marriage protection amendments and basically put the whole traditional marriage movement where it belongs on ice, you know. Because the truth is, as far as anybody that people that believes as far as with gay marriage goes, that gays deserve to have equal rights as far as that goes. And giving something like domestic partnership or civil unions or whatever is not necessarily equal because it's separate but equal doesn't really work, you know, because of the 14th Amendment. The 14th Amendment states that, that basically that all citizens of the U.S. have rights and should not have all these rights basically denied simply because of that they're a minority of some sort. And then simply because of like equal protection of the laws, you know, and it's just uh, simply you can't go around and say like like, oh I'm all good I'm all okay with you getting married as far as that goes if you're gay, but I just want you to be married I want you to call it something else. It's the same as as back then a few years ago. I mean, back then, 40 years ago, before the, the whole Loving v. Virginia case, you know, there'd be people who would say, like, oh, I'm all for you getting married, but just marry within your own race. You know, what's that? I mean, I mean, where do we have a right to deny certain people privileges, you know, where do we have a right to do that, because that's just not how it goes, because the truth of the matter is, since we live in a constitutional republic, rights of minority have to be protected when they're turning a majority, depending on, I mean, no matter who's the majority, no matter who's the minority of the people, whereas it's gays, blacks, Latinos, Latinos, uh, Jewish people, or whatever, you know, that their rights have to be protected from the tyranny of majority, because there's no, because mob rule doesn't really work. But, as I said earlier before, is that even if Prop 8 passes, it can set a whole precedent of having the whole traditional marriage movement be put on ice permanently, and we'll have gay marriage anyways, you know. I mean, since they basically dug their own grave out of this show, <laughs> they should have thought of that before promoting such propositions anyways, and then especially, they could have just left it alone and give it as a sort of a state's issue there to have it be legalized in one state, but not legalized in other states, you know, but truth is, because their own little refusing to accept defeat for that matter, probably is going to get overturned, and they'll have to force to accept the fact that gays are now considered to be equal people as other people do, and in time, 20 years, or 15 years, or whatever, how many years it takes, We'll all look back on this sort of issue and wonder why was Prop 8 and gay marriage was a big issue in the first place? And we would say that, well, because 
some people just were afraid of gay people for that matter. They were afraid that the gays were going to turn all other people gay for that matter, or they were going to free, they were afraid that they'll teach children to be gay, or whatever the case may be, but honestly, that's how it goes. They will all pretty much look back at this and then say, um, what was the big deal? Just like how we look back at the ban on interracial marriages and how that was such a big deal now. And back then, it's just the same thing because people were afraid of the races mixing and but and all that sort of stuff, you know, and and all these other things, you know. I mean, it's just fear drives the populace and and such things like that also drives the populace. But unfortunately, that's how the things goes. And, 